Right now, humanitarian aid groups are implementing plans to help the thousands of people who have arrived at our southern border, some of whom are arriving after weeks-long treks through miles of jungles, some of whom have, whom have escaped political persecution, others who have fled rape and violence, and many who have arrived here after weeks huddled in overcrowded tent cities in Mexico. As that reality is unfolding, Donald Trump and conservative media are actively distorting, distorting the suffering at the root of this migration, and they are instead stoking fears about the masses of migrants down at the border. Because if you watch Fox News the rest of the day, you will see chaos and ca catastrophic results at our border. Are local authorities bracing for just an absolute tidal wave or a an invasion essentially at midnight? From Yemen, from China, from others. I mean, why are they coming to America? Why are on the terrorist watch list? We know statistically there will likely be hardened criminals, even terrorists among them. In record flow of people, crime, drugs, and gang violence, and, and none of it's good. Fox News has spent the past 24 hours doing as much as it possibly can to convince America that doomsday is here. They have a countdown clock in the lower right corner of their screen all day, showing the exact number of minutes until a tidal wave of migrants will invade America at midnight, which is after Trump's Title 42 immigration policy expires. And while you hear Fox hosts and guests calling these migrants hardened criminals and potential terrorists, they fail to mention the actual evidence. According to crime data from the Department of Public Safety in Texas, which is where most migrants cross the southern border and enter the U.S., U.S.-born citizens are twice as likely to be arrested for violent crimes than immigrants are, and U.S.-born citizens are two and a half times more likely to be arrested for drug crimes than immigrants. But I mean context is not Fox News' strong point on this topic. Instead, for years now, conservative media has cherry-picked examples of individual immigrants allegedly committing crimes, or it is referred to groups of migrants as terrifying, faceless caravans. And that's the point. The point is to dehumanize them. Because if we all saw these people as people, who, like many of our own family members and our ancestors, are fleeing oppression or just seeking better lives, then it would be hard to shut them out, to punish them for wanting the same thing that so very many of us wanted to.